All right, this next one is probably the best worst thing I've ever done. What we're gonna do is we're gonna smash our guts. It's called the gut smash. The global gut smash because we're going after this big global zone that is our core. <clears throat> our core uh, gets our core gets a lot of uh, a lot of stiffness uh, through through posture issues, also uh, breathing uh, improper breathing mechanics, even proper breathing mechanics. Uh, it's just oh, use. Even uh, even when we're when we're using, you know, if you ever train with me, I'm having you do a lot of core work. We're we're, we're getting it stiff intentionally. Well, it still requires uh, to be to be mobile. There's lots of stuff in there, lots of muscles in here. To get adhesions just like just like you foam roll your legs or, or your glutes, uh, you get you get adhesions in your in your core as well. Your diaphragm, deep deep tissue muscles like your transverse abdominis, your iliopsoas, things that are responsible for your hip flexors. Uh, so we're just going to go after all of it right now. What I recommend is you get a soccer ball or like a kid's play ball, like one of something real squishy. Uh, this right here is a medicine ball. I wouldn't recommend starting with this. It's pretty darn intense. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna mount up on the ball. You're gonna start off, I like to start kind of drive it up underneath my rib cage. I like to do that. Drive it up underneath the rib cage. And you're gonna have the uh, the natural reflex to kind of tense up because you don't it doesn't feel good having this thing in here. But what I want you to do is just focus, take big deep exhales, and Try to melt into the ball. Uh, Jill Miller and uh, Kelly Sturette, where I got this information from, this, this exercise from, they use that term melting. You're just with every exhale, trying to go a little deeper into it, relax into it. Take a few deep breaths in, the, in that position and then go a little bit lower or to the side. Again, we're melting, reposition. This takes a lot of pain off the lower back too, a lot of, a lot of relief from the back, a lot of tension in the core. It can cause lower back issues. It's also, I like to do this before I go to bed sometimes. It helps me, uh, it helps me sleep as intense as it is. You wouldn't think that intentionally punching yourself in the gut would feel good. It doesn't, but afterward it's wonderful. You might feel some kind of in intense burning <laughs> sort of pain, uh, obviously discomfort. Um, play it by ear. I, I just go breathe through it. If I haven't had any problems, I'm told that there's no issue there, but you know, use your own discretion there. Once you're done kind of rolling around and, and just parking it and breathing into it, you can try getting on top of it and try to keep the ball in place while you move your legs back around and sort of twist, almost like your skin and your guts are getting twisted onto the ball. You're moving your feet around and then you're gonna stop and take some nice deep breaths. You're trying to use your diaphragm or smash the diaphragm. I'm gonna ask you to give this a shot for, for five, even 10 minutes and just get into it. Um, Breathe, try to breathe the pain out. Like I said, it's very, very uncomfortable. Uh, it's kind of supposed to be, but I think it will really pay off for you in the end. Five, 10 minutes of bliss. Have fun.